Hello, Power BI community. I am Savin Reddy, Director of Community and Learning for Microsoft Fabric, and this is the April edition of the Power BI Monthly Update. In this video, I'm just covering the highlights, so if you want the details, check out the update blog. The link is in the video description. Now let's get started. For reporting, we have a new visual for you, the 100% stacked area chart. It is exactly what its name says. It displays the relative percentage of multiple data series as stacked areas, where the totals always equal 100%. We are also introducing more control over line charts. You can configure the transparency, there are additional options for smoothing lines, and for step lines. There are situations where you want a PowerPoint presentation to continuously play the same slides over and over. And if you're using the Power BI add-in in these scenarios, you can now configure the add-in to automatically pull fresh data from Power BI while the presentation is showing in slideshow mode. Here is a nice convenience for you when you use the Power BI add-in in an empty slide. Empty slide means one that does not have a title. The Power BI add-in will offer to help fill in the slide title based on the content that's being shown by the add-in. For example, the title of the slide can be set to the report name, the page name, or the visual name. We've added a new drop-down menu to the footer of the Power BI add-in. And directly from that drop-down menu, you can decide whether you want to see live data or a snapshot. If you want snapshots, you have two options, snapshot and public snapshot. With the snapshot option, only those people who have permission to view the report in Power BI will be able to see the snapshot. With the public snapshot option, then anyone who can view the presentation can also view the snapshot. For those of you who have been using the dynamic subscriptions for paginated reports, previously there was a limit of 50 recipients. But now you can have up to 1,000 recipients. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new and improved image mode feature in the Power BI add-in for PowerPoint. This feature introduces an easier experience and improved functionality for freezing Power BI content as images. Here is my PowerPoint presentation, and this is the slide where I want to insert a Power BI data. First, select the Power BI add-in. Then, I go to Power BI and get a link to the visual I want to add to the slide. As always, once added, the visual is live and interactive. In this update, there is a new drop-down option below the report name that controls the way the data is shown. When I click on the drop-down, you can see three options. Live data. This is the default state, and it means that the add-in is connected to Power BI and shows the recent data, and that the content is interactive. Snapshot means that the add-in shows an image of the data, but only users with access to the report in Power BI will be able to view that image. When a user who does not have access to the report tries to view the add-in, they will see a message telling them to request access in order to view the content. And public snapshot. In this case, everyone who has access to the presentation can see the image, regardless of their access to the report. I will select public snapshot. Now, the content in the add-in is actually an image, and when I click on it, it tells me that I cannot interact with it. But the footer stays interactive, so I can get more data about the report, name, and add border to beautify my slide. One of the benefits of this new feature is that when, I op when opening an existing presentation with Power BI add-in, the slide thumbnail will no longer show the data by default. It will show the data only after a check if the viewing user is allowed to see the data. Let's see how it looks like. I will open the same presentation I was editing earlier. You can see that by default, the slide thumbnail in the left do not show any data. The image will only show up when the user views the slide and after a permission check. For slides that were created before this feature update, PowerPoint will show the add-in thumbnail only the first time you open the presentation after getting this update. Afterwards, it will not show the thumbnail anymore before checking if the user can view it. 
This new feature is supported from Office version 23.12. Make sure to run Office Update to get the most up-to-date bits. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the improved image mode feature in the Power BI at Info PowerPoint. We hope this feature will enhance your presentations and make it easier to share your data and insights with others. Power BI mobile apps now support folders in workspaces. Just remember, these folders can contain a variety of fabric items. Some of them are related to Power BI and some of these items are not. And so these mobile apps will only show you the items that are Power BI items. If a report has a barcode field, you can use a phone camera to scan the barcode on some object and then that will cause the report to filter based on that barcode. This is really useful, for example, in retail scenarios because you can be looking at some object and then you can find all the information about it pretty easily in the Power BI report. Things like inventory information or sales data, etc. Some of you have been using this feature, but you told us that you wanted it to be a little easier to clear out that barcode filter. Well now, in the report footer, we've added a button so that with just one click, you can clear out a previously scanned barcode and remove it from the filter. Using a Power BI mobile app, it's now possible for you to see a Power BI item in full screen. This is supported for both launch items and when using a universal link. For those of you not familiar with a launch item, this is a Power BI item, like a report or a page, etc., that a user selects to automatically open when the app opens. And so now, you can tell the Power BI mobile app to open this item in full screen mode. In this update, we added Clear Barcode, a feature designed to streamline the process of filtering reports based on semantic models featuring a barcode field. Did you know that when a field in a semantic model is marked as a barcode, you can use your mobile device to filter your report by scanning barcodes in your camera? To add a barcode field to your model, simply mark the field with the barcode tag in Power BI Desktop. This feature is especially great for retail. For this demo, I want to open a report that is used to manage the inventory in a bicycle shop named AdventureWorks. I will start by scanning the barcode of a product in the store. When scanning the barcode in the Power BI scanner, I get a list of all of my reports that contain a barcode field. The report I am looking for is named AdventureWorks Inventory. Opening the report, we see the bike shop inventory. The inventory is currently filtered by the product barcode I scanned. Notice that the barcode icon in the report footer is filled, indicating that a barcode filter is currently applied. From here, I can scan a new barcode using the barcode button inside the report. It's important to mention that if you are scanning multiple barcodes one after the other, when scanning the new barcode, the previous one is cleared automatically. But what if we want to clear the barcode filter? In this release, we added the new Clear Barcode button to the report footer to make it easier for you to clear the filtered value in a single tap. After I press the Clear Barcode, we can see the unfiltered inventory in the report. Now I can use a filter, a slicer, or another barcode to filter my report by product. And just like we do every month, here are many great new visualizations and visuals available in AppSource. In this month's Community Spotlight, I'd like to introduce you to Jiwon Kim, who's been a member of the Power BI community since 2021. You can see how active he's been in the community, with over 2,000 kudos, 2,000 solutions, and over 4,000 replies. Outside of his involvement in the Power BI community, he enjoys classic games like chess, because he loves being immersed in the intellectual challenge of analyzing the game against a live opponent. Thanks for being part of our community, G1, and for sharing a bit about yourself. That's all for this month. Please visit our Power BI community forums at aka.ms slash PBI community. It is the best place for you to connect with others and get answers to your questions. And please let us know how we can do better. We are listening. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.